Good morning, everybody. Today is February uh, 6, 2009, and uh, we're going to be discussing Venn diagrams uh, this morning. Venn diagrams were um, created by a um, mathematician by the name of John Venn um, about 50, 60 years ago. His cousin, ironically, Sean, is up for an Academy Award for the movie Milk um, in a couple weeks for the Oscars. Anyway, Venn diagrams are intersecting sets uh, showing information using overlapping circles. And there can be as many as three circles uh, showing the uh, relationship between the different uh, categories in a word problem. Here's a typical word problem involving uh, Venn diagrams. And they're pretty, um, they're pretty specific in the way that they're presented. They look kind of unique, different than other word problems. At a breakfast buffet, 93 people chose coffee for their beverage. 47 people chose juice. 25 people chose both coffee and juice. If each person chose at least one of these beverages, how many people visited the buffet? So if you look at this, you'd think um, right off the bat that there might be three categories here, uh, coffee, juice, and then the people who chose both. Well, Venn diagrams have a unique way of um, displaying that information with only using two circles, with the both category being where the two circles would overlap. Just like with any other graph that you do, Whenever you create something, uh, such as a data presentation, you should always label the categories, the entire graph itself, uh, as well as the individual pieces that make it up. So in this particular case, we're going to call it a breakfast buffet. And put that title right on the top. Each individual category will be labeled now with uh, each circle. So we'll have coffee here and we'll have juice here. Now the rectangle around the two circles basically represents the universe of all the numbers or students um, that would partake in the survey. So now once the uh, entire Venn diagram is labeled, now we just have to plug the numbers into the right spot. Now the most important, probably the most important word you will see in Venn diagram word problems or not see in Venn diagram word problems is the word only makes a very, very big difference in these problems. Right off the bat, students will be putting in 93 people into the coffee circle. And what they'll do is they'll make the mistake of putting 93 right here. That would be the case if only 93 people were to choose coffee. Uh, it does not specify that 93 people. It just says 93 people totally had coffee. So that could include the people who also had juice as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it outside the circle like that because the entire coffee circle has to be uh, 93 people. Same thing with the 47 people cho uh, choosing juice. It doesn't say 47 people only chose juice. It says 47 people total chose juice. So you have to assume it means total. So we'll put 47 there and that circle would represent the juice. Right there. Let's get this guy in blue. Now, so far, we have not really labeled any um, concrete numbers in the diagrams themselves until we get to 25 people choosing both coffee and juice. Now, 25, since it's shared by both, is going to go in between the two circles. And that you can definitively put into the diagram. Now, to figure out what um, the amount of people that only drank coffee, it just comes down to basic subtraction. 93 total people in the coffee circle, 25 who chose both, and then just subtract and get the difference. 18, 8, 68 people only choosing coffee. And then a little bit easier subtraction over here, 47, 25, leaving us 22 people only choosing juice. Once the diagram is filled in, we do not have to worry about anybody um, not partaking in choosing one of the two beverages because of this last sentence right here stating that each person chooses at least one of these beverages. So that basically is, it's a lot of students read right over that, not thinking it means much, but actually it's a very important statement stating that everyone uh, is involved in this survey and no one is left out or, or uh, did not choose either of the beverages. Last thing we have to do now is answer the question, how many people visited the buffet? And basically it comes down to simple addition. 
adding all the quantities in the entire Venn diagram to get the final answer, 68, 25, and 22. And you're going to get 115. Let's write a sentence. 